on campus, who is your trusted adult? My trusted adult is my athletic trainer, Rachel. As a college student, what is one important lesson that you have learned about self-care? I learned to take five minutes out of the day to focus on myself. How do you try to have a positive influence on fellow students regarding mental health? Um, I just try to love and just spread a joy around. Um, just being that light for people because I know a lot of people need it during college. So just being that difference that people need and being able to see that light that a lot of us aren't able to realize. So just spreading that love and joy that people need. What's your guys' best mental health relaxation tip? I like going on a walk. Yeah, I like working out and reading. As a college student, what is one important lesson you've learned as about mental health? I've learned that it's really important to make sure you still take breaks and prioritize your self-care. What are some self-care techniques you and your friends use? Oh, so sometimes when we know that we all have like a lot of homework, we all go to the cake and like do our homework together to make sure we're all like on top of our stuff. What are some self-care techniques that you and your friends use? Uh, probably just running. What are some self-care techniques that you and your friends use? Um, we usually eat mac and cheese together at like absurd times of the night. Oh. As a college student, what's one important thing you've learned about mental health? I will say mental health is more serious than most think, especially like, I will say in college, male, males don't feel that they could speak about mental health with other males because they don't know that other males are going through maybe similar or the same thing that they're going through at the same time. So I'll say mental health is very critical to to be able to walk in this college life because college can break you. It will break you and you got to learn how to keep going after you get broke. As a college student, what's one important thing you've learned about mental health? Um, I think that it's to prioritize your mental health, like finding the balance between going out with friends and like sports as well as your academics because there's a lot that has changed from like high school to college. Yeah, and I've learned that it's okay to ask for help and that everyone's here to help you. They want to see you succeed, so it's okay to say you're struggling. As a college student, what's one important thing you've learned about mental health? Um, giving yourself time to relax and breathe. While on campus, who is a trusted adult for you and your friends? Uh, Dr. Miller. While on campus, who is a trusted adult for you and your friends? My FYS professor, Dr. Grossman. While at college, who would you consider to be a trusted adult for you and your friends? On campus, uh, I've met Beth Polin and Frank Bove, and I find them very trustworthy, and I would like to go to them with a lot of things. What are some unique challenges that college students face when considering self-care? I think one unique challenge that a college student faces is dealing with the fact that there is always going to be something that needs to be done and you still have to make time for self-care. But for example, self-care to me is being able to go to the gym, knowing that I might have some studying to do, knowing that I could be reading another chapter of a book, and being able to step away from that, take that hour to go to the gym, and then return back to my work is something that I think a lot of college students um, face each and every day. As a college student, what is one lesson that you've learned about self-care? Um, I would say the biggest lesson I've learned is how to manage your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if you play a sport, you get here and it's like, you need to, like, you feel so busy all the time, like everything's so hectic. So I had to learn to set aside time for prayer, set aside time for homework, set aside time for study, for sport. And then once you get on more of a schedule, that gives you more rest. What is one self-care technique you and your friends use? Uh, me and my friends like to go to the gym, get a quick pump in, makes you feel good about yourself. What is one self-care technique that you and your friends use? Uh, we like to work out together in the mornings. What is one self-care technique you and your friends use? Push-ups. We work out together. We do our thing together. We grind together and become better men together. As a college student, what is one important lesson that you've learned about the importance of self-care? Um, I think that keeping a positive mindset has really helped and it will help you through your schoolwork and everything if you just stay positive about everything you do. So that's helped me. Who on campus is your trusted adult? My trusted adult is Miss Amy. What is one self-care technique you and your friends use? Uh, 15 minutes of reading before bed every night. Put the phone away. Get some good sleep. While on campus, who is a trusted adult for you and your friends? I would say either my advisor or the counseling staff that we have here on campus.